If we don't pray, we can have as many crusades as we want, the gospel won't move. Prayer is the one that softens the soil for the gospel. If we don't pray, there'll be too many barricades. There'll be too many hindrances. You'll work so hard, and when you look back, there's not much that we have done. In this church, we need prayer more than anything else. I sometimes then take an exercise with churches where I move around. Most of us, we go to church in the morning, we come back in the evening. We spend eight to ten hours at church. But have you, ever, have you ever checked how much time we pray? The church that prayed longest according to the exercise that I've done, out of ten hours, they pray 25 minutes. And I know some of you will argue, but take a look at it. From the time the officers march in and they say, let's do a silent prayer. And you count every prayer until sundown worship. The church that prays longest, 25 minutes. This is Lord's day in his church, in his house. You have visited with a friend. I come to your house, pastor, on your birthday. I bring my nieces, my nephews, and everyone. We sit on your sofas for 10 hours. It's your birthday, it's your house, it's your food. But we talk with you for 20 minutes. What are we doing through and through? We are talking on our own. This church does not pray. Because of that, there's no growth. We are struggling. The reason is no prayer. Our foundation is not there. I wish the people would understand that it's important to come to church just to pray. In fact, our programs have now dwarfed the prayer out of the system. We can do all things except prayer. And prayer, we put it in a corner where we say, hey, we are running out of time now. Let's, just a quick one. Are you with me? And when a man prays, do you know in our church, if a pastor would have to pray here for two minutes, three minutes, our eyes will be open. And what is he doing now? Because we are running with other programs. This church does not pray. I wish I had a way of saying, you, you see, there is no way you can preach a word without prayer. Otherwise, it becomes a rendition. You've just offered the powerful statements, put them together. We don't know what it is, but amen.